WRSS sleeve can be cut to the desired length, or the WRSS 12 inch sleeve can be used. The WRSS 12 product line was specifically designed for transition installation, maintenance, and repair, and is available in the same diameter ranges as the standard WRSS sleeves. Next, the scuff cable jacket must be flame treated for five seconds, and the lead auxiliary must be preheated until it is hot to the touch. The sleeve may now be assembled over the prepared area. As you recover the sleeve, preheat the rail and channel as in standard installations. Then shrink the portion of the sleeve which covers the lead auxiliary outboard of the transition area. Extinguish your torch and let the sleeve cool. Once the sleeve has cooled enough for the adhesive to bond to the lead auxiliary, resume heating the sleeve until it is fully recovered. Be sure to use a blunt object to help the channel conform to the diameter change in the transition area. As with all WRSS installations, the metal channel must be cooled to the touch before the cable can be moved, bent, or repressurized. When a repair is necessary on a cable which cannot be depressurized, Raycam's PATH-2 pressure access flange may be used. First, select the site for the flange which is 90 degrees off from the bonding hardware and centered in the repair area. Using a cable drill or a sheath knife, cut an access port through the cable jacket shield and turn plate, exposing the conductors. Be careful not to damage the conductors or their insulation. Place the path to over the port with the valve seat centered in the port. Secure the path to to the cable with one lap of glass or DR tape at each end of the flange. The tape should overlap the flange by only one quarter inch. After solvent cleaning, use a carding brush or abrasive strip to thoroughly scuff the PATH-2 flange and the cable jacket for a minimum of 6 inches on each side of the flange. Measure 6 inches out from the repair area or flange, then place and smooth aluminum tape 1 inch inboard of this mark. After measuring the maximum and minimum repair area diameters, Select the proper size WRSS sleeve, trim it if necessary, and flame treat the polyethylene cable jacket and path 2 where the WRSS sleeve is to be installed. Be careful not to overheat the jacket or flange. Five seconds per foot should be sufficient. Assemble the sleeve over the repair site and begin heating the sleeve as you would for a standard installation. Continue to shrink the sleeve until the contour of the path tube becomes visible through the sleeve. With snips, cut a small hole in the sleeve at the center of the protruding valve. As you continue to heat the sleeve, the path tube valve stem will pass through the hole in the sleeve and the sleeve will draw down around the throat of the flange. If necessary, use a blunt object to seat the sleeve around the base of the flange throat. Complete the recovery of the sleeve, including the conforming of the channel using standard procedures. When the channel is cool to the touch, Install a valve or plug in the path to per local practice. Then the cable may be moved or repressurized. When a long length repair is necessary, one which exceeds the length of a single WRSS sleeve, multiple sleeves can be effectively and securely joined through the use of Raychem's overlapping kit. First, prepare the cable sheath opening using the procedures already demonstrated. 
Next, mark the cable six inches outboard on each side of the repair area. Hold the first sleeve over the repair area with one edge on the first mark. Mark the edge at the other end of the sleeve where an overlap will occur. Take the overlapping sheet from the kit. Position it with a glossy side toward the cable. Wrap it one and one half laps around the repair area at the overlap mark. And cut the sheet to size with snips. Unwrap the overlapping sheet and wipe it clean. Then abrade it with a supplied abrasive square, moving perpendicularly to the cut end. Wrap the sheet back around the cable centered on the mark where the overlap will occur. Take the supplied aluminum tape and place one and one half laps around the center of the sheet to hold it in position. Smooth the tape with a blunt object. Clean and abrade six inches of cable sheath inboard of the first mark, the one opposite the point of overlap. Place one and one half laps of four inch aluminum tape around the cable with one inch inboard of the mark. Smooth the tape with a blunt object. Using an approved torch, flame treat the polyethylene jacket and overlapping sheet where the WRSS sleeve is to be installed. Position the first WRSS sleeve so that one edge of the sleeve is centered on the aluminum tape of the overlapping sheet. Assemble the WRSS sleeve over the repair area. Join the rails with the retention clip and channels as previously demonstrated. If a bond bar has been used in the repair, rotate the rail and channel 90 degrees from the position of the bond bar. Ignite the torch and preheat the rail and channel area until shrinking begins. Then move to one end of the sleeve and start to fully recover the sleeve, working around the entire circumference. Work gradually toward the opposite end of the sleeve. Be sure to convert all the green heat sensitive paint. Continue the long length repair by applying a second WRSS sleeve over the remaining cable opening. The second sleeve must overlap the first sleeve by three inches and the second sleeve's rail and channel must be rotated 180 degrees from the first sleeve's rail and channel. The installation may be completed following the procedures already demonstrated. If more than two WRSS full-length sleeves are required for repair, be sure to use additional Raychem overlapping kits to ensure total sealing of the cable opening prior to the installation of the additional sleeves. When a cable band requires a WRSS application, begin with the cable preparation procedures already demonstrated. After measuring and trimming, the sleeve must be assembled on the cable so that the rail and channel are on the outside of the band. Leave three inches of channel extending beyond the end of each sleeve and tape the ends of the channel to the cable. This conforms the sleeve to the cable bend. The channel should never extend beyond the aluminum tape. Shrink the sleeve in the standard manner. Preheat the rail and channel. Begin shrinking in the center of the sleeve and work out all the way to one end. Then return to the center and work toward the opposite end. Do not overheat the inside of the sleeve or the rail channel area. 
This completes installation instructions for Raykin's WRSS Wraparound Repair Sleeve System. For additional information, consult the printed installation instructions supplied with each WRSS kit.